Have you ever wondered why some cables fail in moving applications while others seem to work perfectly fine? I mean, if you compared them on a data sheet electrically, they would perform the exact same function. So what's the difference? Today, we're going to talk about the different types of motion we've seen because of the increase in automated solutions in past years. And also, we'll talk about the different cable structure needed to be able to provide a reliable solution for those types of motion. There are two main different types of motion. One is linear and the other is torsional. With linear, we're used to seeing the standard cable carrier or E-chain moving back and forth in one particular plane, also called rolling flexing. For torsional or twisting, we've also seen this on six axis robots as well as other types of applications that have free movement that take on different types of mechanical stresses. So when we think about mechanical stresses, we're used to seeing the linear E-chain and the place where the cable incurs the most amount of stress is that curve. And that curve is determined by the bend radius of the cable that you're putting inside. When it comes to torsional applications, that twisting and turning motion becomes the deciding factor. And a lot of times we're looking for a cable that can handle up to plus or minus 180 degrees, or sometimes even in extreme cases, plus or minus 360 degrees of total rotation. So for a linear application, and as we've seen in some of our other videos, the cable structure is extremely important because taking on the mechanical stresses of that bend radius curve are something a lot of cables aren't properly designed for. This includes having a very tight angle braided shield for shielded cables such as data cables or very large motor power cables. So with the shielding options for torsional cables, what we do is we typically provide a spiral shield meaning it's wound in one direction. And that way, we still have that electrical coverage or EMI protection against noise while still providing the right structure in the cable so that it can move and twist freely along with the application. So how do we know that this will work? There's two main ways that we can talk about. The first is you can feel the difference. Here we have a data cable meant for a linear E-chain application. If I were to put both hands on it and try and twist one forward and the other one back, and then vice versa, I will actually be able to feel that underneath the jacket material, which is the light green material that you can see on camera, you can't feel anything moving because it's resisting that twist, it's resisting that torsion. Conversely, when we look at a same type of data cable for a torsional robotic type of application, once we place our hands in that same location, we can actually feel the inside part of the cable moving along with that twist and rotation. And additionally, you can even see the outer jacket move by looking at the print legend a little bit. So the other way we know that these structural differences actually do work is because IGUS has the largest test lab in the industry for moving applications. And we not only test our linear E-chain cables, but we also test all of our torsional CF robot cables. These cables are tested to plus or minus 180 degrees of rotation, and in some extreme cases, plus or minus 360 degrees of rotation. That's a lot of twisting. If you need help finding the right torsional cable for your application, use the contact information in the description. To take your application to the next level, click on the link in the description below to use the TriFlex configurator so that you can get the right cables along with the right carrier for your solution.